All right, let's try this again. Welcome back to your YouTube channel. This is American Patriot or Nomad, if you don't know who I am. I do have a dog. Um, this is more of a variety channel. And one of the things I enjoy doing is reading from the One Minute Bible. The applications are by Doug Fields, edited, edited by John R. Collinsburg the third the uh, so I'll be reading from that in a second and I enjoy making YouTube videos I don't really edit my videos I was gonna add music to it and everything but I'd rather have it uncut raw to the point. I try to help others smile, inspire each other to, for greatness. So let's go ahead and start. The Golden Calf. And I'm probably gonna read a couple of these. So it's probably gonna turn into a six to 10 minute video. So if you enjoy this, please do share, comment, and um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Definitely hit that thumbs up button as it will help me and you reach more and more people. When the people saw that Moses delayed in coming down from the mountain, they gathered around Aaron and said to him, come make us a God who will go before us, because this Moses the man who brought us up from the land of Egypt. We don't know what has happened to him. Then Aaron replied to them, Take off the gold rings that you are on the ears of your wives, your sons, and your daughters, and bring them to me. So all the people took off the gold rings that were on their ears and brought them to Aaron. He took the gold from their hands, fashioned it with an engraving tool and made it into an image of a calf. Then they said, Israel, this is your God who brought you up from the land of Egypt. When Aaron saw this, he built an altar before it. Then he made an announcement, there will be a festival to the Lord tomorrow. Early the next morning they arose, offered burnt offerings, and presented fellowship offerings. The people sat down to eat and drink then got up to revel. The Lord spoke to Moses, Go down at once. For your people you brought up from the land of Egypt have acted corruptly. I have seen this people, and they are indeed a stiff-necked people. Now leave me alone so that my anger can burn against them, and I can destroy them, and I will make you into a great nation. That comes from Exodus chapter 32, verse 1 through 7 and verse 9 through 10 the related texts are Deuteronomy chapter 9 verse 7 through 15 Nehemiah chapter 9 verse 16 through 19 Psalm chapter 106 verse 19 through 22 Acts chapter 7 verse 37 through 41 and that was the golden calf and a lot of times over on the right hand side or the left hand side, there's something that, I don't know if you can see this. Uh, it says, here's the deal. Moses was an amazing leader. He accomplished astonishing results with a group of people who weren't good at playing follow the leader. Today in the world in desperate need of quality leaders, unfortunately, we have accepted and embraced poor definitions of leadership. Stereotypes describe effective leadership as being men or women who possesses charisma or display outgoing and opinionated personalities. But these discriminants, these descriptions but these descriptions limit leadership to those who feel comfortable in front of a crowd. 
Effective leaders can be quiet and stay completely behind the scenes. There are good leaders in your church who may not who you may not ever see. They may set up chairs straight in the church building or cut out paper figures for the Sunday school class. These people are leaders because they're serving God in ways that don't bring them a lot of attention. They're leading through serving. So if you enjoy that, please feel free to subscribe. Please hit that thumbs up button. That would be absolutely amazing. I would love to reach more and more people as hitting the thumbs up button, leaving a comment, subscribing, that all helps. And now we're going to take like a, we'll say a 10 second pause. So that way you can take all the information in. Now we're back. Now we're going to start off with the intercessory prayer. I feel like I've read this one before to you all. But you know what? I'm going to read it anyways. We're going to start off with the uh, big time word, which is the intercessory prayer. When Moses begged God on behalf of the Israelites, he was praying for, praying or pleading for their own good. Today, this type of prayer is referred to as intercessory prayer. Intercessory prayer is when you pray for someone else. You've probably done that before without knowing what to call it. Also, did you know that the Holy Spirit intercedes on your behalf? Check it out. In the same way, the Spirit also joins to help in our weakness because we do not know what to pray for as we should, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with unspoken groanings. And he searches for the hearts, knows the Spirit's mindset because he intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. That comes from Romans chapter 8 verse 26 through 27. And Moses pleads for the Israelites. But Moses interceded with the Lord, his God. Lord, why does your anger burn against your people? You brought out the land of Egypt with great power and a strong hand. Why should the Egyptians say he brought them out with an evil intent to kill them in the mountains and wipe them off the face of the earth? Turn from your great anger and change your mind about this disaster plan for your people. Remember that you swore to your servants Abraham, Isaac, and Israel by yourself and declare to them, I will make your offspring as numerous as the stars of the sky, and I will give your offspring all this land that I have promised, and they will inherit it. Forever. So the Lord changed his mind about the disaster. He said he would bring on his people. Then Moses turned and went down the mountain with the two tablets of the testimony in his hands. As he approached the camp and saw the calf and the dancing, Moses became enraged and threw the tablets out of his hand, smashing at the base of the mountain. Then he took the calf, they had made it, burned it up, and ground it to powder. He scattered the powder over the surface of the water and forced the Israelites to drink the water. That comes from Exodus chapter 32, verse 11 through 15, and verse 19 and 20. The related texts are Genesis chapter 15, verse 1 through 5, chapter 22, verse 15 through 18, chapter 26, verse 2 through 4, Deuteronomy chapter 9, verse 19, verse 16, excuse me, through 21, Psalm chapter 106, verse 23, Jonah chapter 3, Acts chapter 7, verse 40 through 42. So we'll conclude there, and I hope and pray that we all got something out of this.
because I know I do. If you did, definitely hit that thumbs up button. Definitely leave a comment because I want to hear your thoughts. And please subscribe if you haven't done so, as well as uh, sharing, whether on whatever social media uh, outlet that you also have or may have. Maybe someone needs to hear this that doesn't realize they need to hear. I know there's things that I need to hear. So I'm gonna look, go ahead and say until next time, you all take care, stay safe, stay inspired, and most of all, smile.